Hi, I'm Adeline for Bonnie Like Ben Franklin, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple lined drawstring backpack using four fat quarters. My backpack is baseball themed for the sports enthusiast in your life, but you can customize it to any hobby or design that you like, and it also makes a perfect gift because you can make it, give them a super cute bag, and fill it with stuff that they like. For this project, you will need four fat quarters, two for the outside and two for the inside, a straight edge, a rotary cutter and or scissors, pins, four yards of paracord, a lighter to seal off the edges of the paracord, coordinating thread, a sewing machine, and an iron. First, I'm going to wash, dry, and iron all of my fabrics. Then I'm going to cut each fat quarter down to 16 inches by 17 inches. From one of your extra pieces of red fabric or your liner fabric, cut a one and a half by seven inch rectangle to make the loops out of. First, I'm gonna make the fabric loops. So I'm gonna fold my one and a half by seven inch rectangle so that the two long edges meet in the middle. Make sure they're even and then iron it flat. Then I'll fold it in half the long way so that those two edges stay in the center, iron it again. Then I'm gonna run a seam all along this open edge to close these. And I'm gonna do it as close to the edge as possible. Now I am going to cut and insert my loops. So I'm going to first cut this seven inch piece in half. Then I'll have a three and a half inch piece for each, each side. So here I have my two outside fabrics, right sides together. And I'm going to mark on one of the inside pieces half an inch from the bottom and this is where I'll pin my loops. So I'm going to do this on each side and I'm doing it on the 17 inch sides, so the longer ones. Then when you're pinning your loops you're going to do it in the way that a ribbon would fold so there's a bit of a curve on the top. You're going to make the ends touch up with the edge of the fabric and the bottom part of the loop should line up with that half inch mark. I'm going to pin it into place. Then I'm also going to pin this fabric that's right on top of it in the same general area so that it doesn't shift. Then I'll do the same thing on the other side. Then if you want, you can pin along the three sides that we're gonna stitch, which is the bottom and then the two sides where the loops are. Now we're going to stitch a quarter inch seam around those three sides. Once 
once I get close to my loops, I am going to take out my pins, but you could leave them in if you prefer, and just make sure that they are still lined up with the edges and with each other. Then I'll make sure to hold them in place and I'm going to backstitch over them a few times just to make sure that they're very secure. Then I'll do the same thing with the loop on the other side. Now I'm going to sew the inside lining pretty much the same way. If yours has a pattern on it, it will be right sides together. And you're going to stitch quarter inch all along three sides, except for on the bottom, you're going to leave uh, about a three inch gap so that you can later reverse your bag. And you want to uh, double back on the edges of that so that you can make sure you can pull through without undoing the rest rest of your stitching. Now I'm going to reverse my lining pouch so that it is right side out and place it inside my outside pouch which is still uh, wrong side out and I'm going to line up at the very top the seams on the side and pin those in place If you want to pin the rest of these edges together, you can. Otherwise, we are just going to connect all along this top edge with an 8 inch seam. As I go along, I'm just making sure my edges are still lined up and even, especially as I get to those side seams. Before I reverse my bag, I'm going to trim off all the extra strings from my fabric and my thread. Now I'm going to pull my lining out of my bag. At this point, I basically have a long tube. And then through the opening at the bottom of my lining, I'm going to reverse the whole thing. Then I'm going to press these edges just so that they line up with the rest of the bottom of the lining and throw an eighth inch seam along here so that it closes that hole. Now that I've ironed, I'm going to stitch across just the opening on the lining and it's okay that it's on the outside because it'll be tucked into the bag and you won't ever really see it. Now I am going to put my lining inside of my bag. Try to match up the corners, but if it's a little loose, it's okay. We're not going to be stitching around any of these bottom edges, just the top. So for that, we are going to 
do two stitches around the top to hold our paracord for the drawstring. We're going to do one along this very edge. And if you want to iron your bag flat so it's a little easier to sew through, you can do that. And then you are going to do one one inch down. And this is, of course, not going through both sides of the bag, but just one side at a time. Now that I have ironed my top edge nice and flat, I'm going to draw my chalk line an inch down from the top. Then I'm going to run a seam as close to the top as I possibly can, and then all along this one inch line. Now I'm going to stitch along the one inch line that I drew. Now I'm going to cut my paracord into two 72 inch pieces. So this right here is four yards, so I'm just going to cut it in half, so I have two yards. Then I'm going to burn the ends so that they stop fraying. It's a trick with paracord, and if you haven't done it before, it is pretty simple. Just use a lighter, make sure your fingers are far away, and melt it until the inside pieces are solid and connect to the rest of the cord. And it gets a little smelly, so you might want to open a window, but once it cools, it's all set and ready to use. To create the opening for my drawstring, I'm going to rip or cut the seam, the side seam, between my top stitch and my one inch stitch. And you want to be sure to only do this top layer and not the lining as well so that you have a little pocket and I'm going to do that to both sides. Now I'm going to thread my paracord. So to do this I'm going to start each piece on a different side of the bag and it's going to go all the way through each side of this top little pocket that we've created and then tie down and attach to our loops. Now I'm going to show you an easy trick how to do this using a safety pin. So I'm going to take my safety pin and pin it under where I have sealed off the edge. Then starting at one of the holes on the side, push the pin in and I pull the fabric so that it bunches at the other end and then I can, as long as everything is inside, pull it and the pin is all the way down there. And then I just keep going all the way down. Then once I have reached the opening for the other side of this one pocket, I'm going to go through the other. Now that I have uh, one piece of the paracord all the way through the top of the bag, I'm going to put just one of the edges through our fabric loop and I'm going to tie it off in a square knot which is left over the right and the right over the left which will make a nice and secure knot and if you want to be extra safe and careful with yours you can 
melt these edges and press them together, which is made easier with a clothespin so that it will uh, be less likely to unravel. Now I am going to put my paracord through the other side. So one starts on this side and the other one starts on this side. I'm going to put it all the way through and tie it off and melt it in the same way. Now we're finished with our simple drawstring bag made from four fat quarters and some paracord. This bag makes a great gift for people of all ages and can be filled with lots of stuff, whether it's for travel or for storage or just for fun. All the supplies for this bag are available in our store as well as lots of beautiful fabrics, high quality tools, and expert staff who can help you with any of your fabric questions. If you're interested in more tutorials, check out our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash bfranklincrafts. And I hope you have lots of fun making this bag. Happy crafting!